Albemarle County is making sure that the medicine used to reverse an opioid overdose is available to those who need it. NBC 29's Amaya Mitchell is live in the newsroom with that story and how it could save the life of someone you know. Amaya? Anahita, Albemarle police say in just the first days of this new effort, two lives were saved. This shows just how well it works. It's a crisis and we need to address the immediate um, emergency, which is that people are overdosing to a point of potentially no return. Albemarle County is working to bring the number of opioid overdose deaths down. This entire area has seen a dramatic increase since about 2020. Lots of theories about why, but a number of the factors are, you know, isolation from the pandemic. Three new things are being rolled out to help. First, training. Second, put a naloxone kit in every school clinic in the county. We've trained um, all the police officers and a lot of the school staff to be able to provide, revive um, training, which is to, to deliver um, naloxone or Narcan. When someone has overdosed and needs help, a quick response time is crucial. One of the things about the county that's a little different from the city is that the response times and the locations are so far out that if you don't reverse the effects, sometimes they're so far overdosed. The third point of help is for someone who calls in an overdose. This is the Leave Behind program. When we have an overdose situation, we'll follow up with the family either at the time of the call or we'll go back later and we'll talk to the family or whoever found the person overdosed um, and we'll train them and we'll give them doses of Narcan uh, or naloxone that they can use. Fire, EMS or police will then leave behind a kit with instructions included. They contain two doses of naloxone, the, the Narcan I was describing, and it's essentially similar to like, you know, a, a flow nasal, um, it's a nasal spray. The hope is that these efforts will decrease the stigma behind asking for help. It's nice to see that everybody's coming around this problem together and, and saying, we all have a part in this, you know, it can happen anywhere. Albemarle County encourages anyone who wants to be trained or given one of the kits to reach out to them. Live in the newsroom, Amaya Mitchell, NBC 29 News at 6.